is the Spartan Edition. Good morning, TJ. Today, we have some neat announcements for you. This week, you should eat slices pizza at Slices Pizza because it is a senior fundraiser. Pizza for prom. Pizza muy yum. Slices Pizza is having a fundraiser, and you should eat pizza at Slices. And it's for the senior prom, and so if you want to support the senior prom, maybe it would be fun to maybe go and see it. Also, pizza good. Yeah, great. Now, let's send it to the news. Welcome back, DJ. It's your news hosts, Dagny and Malik. Here for some more news. Starting off with a big one, $163 billion of COVID relief funds were stolen slash misspent. 4.4 million of those dollars went to a Florida man who reportedly used fraud to lie about his age and income in order to get more from the COVID relief funds. He then bought multiple exotic cars right after. He's facing four counts of wire fraud, four counts of money laundering, and one count of aggravated identity theft. On a lighter note, a man in California won the lottery of $2.04 billion. The man who sold him the ticket received $1 million as well. What a great day to live in California. Malik, what would you do if you won $1 million? I'd move to California, but be roasted alive right as I cross the border. That's all for today, TJ. See you tomorrow. Hey, Spartans! Today, the Campus Life Club will be meeting at lunch in Mr. Logan's room. Be there, please. You know, the Campus Life Club is fantastic. It's a new club at TJ. It's going to be great. I uh, didn't know that. That's yeah, great. You really should go. It's going to be a great time. There's going to be food there. Uh, please go at lunch today. Yeah. Uh, you know? What? Time. It. Is. It. Is. Time. For. An. Announcement. From. Mr. Rocha. And. Admin. Bon dia, Spartans. Good morning. Buenos dias. Capoeira today, 3 to 4.30, room 210. I'll see you there. Nos vemos allá. De 3 a 4 y media, salón 2.10, capoeira. Bon dia, gente. Morning, TJ. Mr. Poole here. A couple things. First off, make sure you're on time, doing well. Don't do anything dumb. Uh, do your best. And juniors, next week you guys will be taking the AccuPlacer on Tuesday and Wednesday. Very important. Uh, it is one of the things that can show your college ready, which is one of the things you now have to have, a box you have to check to graduate. So if you're looking for information on that, juniors, otherwise everybody have a great day. Hey TJ, this is Mr. Vaughn, uh, Concurrent Enrollment Coordinator here. I've got a couple of quick announcements. Uh, all juniors, make sure you're paying attention. You have AccuPlacer testing either Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. It'll be in the morning, um, so get here early. We're gonna try to start as close to 7.30 as we can. If your last name starts with A through L, you'll be testing on Tuesday. Uh, M through Z, you'll be testing on Wednesday. Make sure you bring your Chromebook fully charged because you'll be taking it on your laptop. Um, another announcement, next Thursday, we're gonna have a representative from the Community, uh, Community College of Denver coming in to help register students for off-campus classes uh, for the spring. So if you're interested in taking any classes off-campus at CCD, make sure you come see me um, and we'll get you an appointment with the representative from CCD next Thursday, November 17th. That's all I got, thanks TJ. Remember, the fall musical starts tonight. Please buy your tickets with the QR code on screen. Now, we'll stop doing whatever, but please go to the fall musical. It's going to be great. Uh, we've been working really hard on it, uh, and you're going to enjoy it if you want to go. Uh, it runs through Saturday, so please go, Spartans. It's going to be great. Sounds fun. Yeah. Seniors, please remember to submit your senior photos if you haven't already. You still have time. All yeah, right. cool. That's, that's it. That's it. That's all it is. All right, we're going to send it to sports and have a good day. I'm sorry.
Hey TJ, it's Saban and Delano with the sports. If you didn't already know, basketball camp is this week. Girls have camp today from 3 to 5, so be there. And boys have camp tomorrow from 3 to 5 as well. Make sure to show up, TJ. In national news, LeBron James limped off the court with a groin injury. I wonder how this will affect his legs. Another news, the U.S. men's national team has announced their 26-man roster as they prepare for the 2022 World Cup. Let's go, USA! Well, that's it from us, TJ. We have no athletes to send it off to, so we will be sending it off to the cast members for the fall play. Peace! Hey, guys. The play's happening tonight and tomorrow and Saturday, and you should definitely go because it might be good, but it's definitely not going to be bad. That's that's the deal. Yeah. Go. 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 Hey, TJ. We are here. It is opening night for Little Shop of Horrors, and we are so excited for you all to see the show. This is the culmination of eight weeks of work. We have four shows today, tomorrow, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Also, an additional matinee on Saturday at 2 p.m. Tickets are $5 for students, $10 for adults. You can look at the newsletter to find the QR code to buy tickets in advance, or you can bring cash and pay at the door. That is also perfectly fine. Uh, so once again, please support all these amazing actors, musicians, and crew members. They've worked so hard over the past eight weeks and the show looks and sounds awesome. So hope to see you there, TJ. Hey TJ, it's Delana and Adam from FCA. We have a meeting today in room 14 at lunch, so be there. Be there, TJ. <laughs> Sup, TJ? There's a musical tonight at seven. It's opening night. Be there or be a square. Hey Dagny, how's volleyball? Hi, it was good. Yeah, it was good. How'd your season go? Good. You won a lot of games? <laughs> How'd varsity do? They did good. They lost one. Maggie, what do you think? Five girls. Three? Wow, you're so taciturn. Alright, question today. Would you rather own a pet gorilla named Wilson? Or I can slide you two tickets to Uganda right now. Put prepaid and everything. 100% the pet gorilla. Yeah, dude, what's in Uganda? I don't even know. All right, would you rather have a pet gorilla named Wilson? Or I could slide you two tickets to Uganda right now. Pet gorilla. All right, Pierce, would you rather have a gorilla named William? Or <laughs> I'll slide you two tickets to the country Uganda right now, prepaid. I'm going to Uganda. Never been. <laughs> Doran, would you rather have a pet gorilla named Wilson or a trip to Uganda? Trip to Uganda. Why? What am I gonna do with a gorilla? Right? <laughs> no, okay, wait. <laughs> Alright, would you rather have a pet gorilla named Wilson or a trip to Uganda? Actually, that's easy. I don't want the gorilla because I'm pretty close to a gorilla. I can look at my arms and whatnot. But uh, I'd like to go to Uganda so that I can pick up an orangutan. Which did you know it's orangutan? It's not tank. Everybody says it wrong. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> All right, question today. Would you rather have a pet gorilla named Wilson or I can slide you two tickets to Uganda right now, prepaid and everything? The second one. Uganda? Why? Because I want, I've always wanted to go there. That's so sick. Yeah. 